Hey guys, I don't know about you, but I love Chinese buffets so much. This week we are making crab imperial, which is one of my favorite dishes from the Chinese buffet. If you haven't yet already, please subscribe to my channel because next week I'll be uploading another one of my favorite recipes from the Chinese buffet and you don't want to miss it. So without further ado, let's get into this cheesy, creamy, delicious casserole. All right, so we're gonna get started with some celery. I've seen a lot of different people make this recipe on YouTube, but um, they never include celery in it, and the Chinese buffets I go to always add celery in theirs. It gives it like this nice, fresh taste because it's a very rich and heavy dish. So I'm starting out with two stalks of celery. We're gonna finely chop them. I'm cutting them into thinner stalks. Um, actually, I don't think I used both of these celery but use as much as you want I'm gonna use maybe about a half a cup of finely diced celery all right you don't want to skip this part trust me it makes the world of a difference and then I'm gonna go ahead and just throw it into my bowl So as you can see now, I'm using white onion. I'm going to use about one fourth cup of white onion. I'm using white onion specifically because it has a milder onion flavor and it's sweeter than say like a red onion or a yellow onion. So I highly recommend you use white. Also, I'm going to go in with only the green part of some green onion, about a fourth cup of that as well. Um, and that's going to just offer a nice extra oniony kick but not be overbearing because imitation crab meat, the flavor of it is very delicate. You don't wanna overpower it too much. Um, now I'm gonna go in with a 16 ounce container of imitation crab meat. You wanna use the flaky style of crab meat as opposed to like the sticks or anything like that. Um, just because you wanna be able to incorporate all of the ingredients throughout the casserole without having large clumps of imitation crab meat. Now I'm gonna go in, I, you see me scooping some out, but I used about mm, six ounces altogether of cream, uh, sour cream. You'll see me later add some more back into the bowl. But about six ounces of sour cream, we're gonna do four ounces of cream cheese. You wanna make sure your cream cheese is nice and warm. Now we're gonna go in with about a teaspoon and a half of Worcestershire sauce and a fourth cup of QP mayo. You can use any mayo you like. Do not use Miraquip. It's not the same thing. If you are going to use mayo, I highly recommend, you know, Dukes or Hellman's. But I prefer QP mayo because it just has a richer flavor to it. It's nice and creamy. You can get it from your local H Mart. And that's me adding more uh, sour cream into the mix. I'm going to stir that up nicely. We're going to go in with about four ounces of mozzarella cheese. All right, and then we're gonna go in with four ounces of Colby uh, Cheddar Jack cheese. You can use Colby Jack if you like, but my local restaurant, I mean, Market only had that. As far as seasonings, we're gonna go in with a tablespoon of Old Bay, a teaspoon of garlic, and we're gonna do as much black pepper as you want, um, just for flavor pur purposes. You don't have to if you don't like black pepper. Um, once you incorporate everything, mix it up really good, you're gonna add it into a baking dish. I'm using a tin pan. Spread it out nice and evenly, and you're gonna use the other half of those cheeses right on top, okay? Just sprinkle those bad boys right on there, and then we're gonna pop it into an oven, all right? We're gonna pop it into the oven about 400 degrees for 20 minutes, and this is what it looks like. Beautiful, golden brown, Delicious on the outside, I mean, crispy on the outside, and cheesy and creamy on the inside. I'm using the rest of those green onions just to put on top, um, and that's it. You can also put your casserole under the broiler to make it a little bit more browner if you like, but that's it. It was delicious, it was so good, you guys. It tastes just like the Chinese buffet. I got my life, hopefully you will get yours. 
If you like this video, please give me a like. Make sure you subscribe, leave comments down at the bottom, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.